Hey everyone, I'm Bryce. And I'm Eric. And today we just want to show you a new feature that we're really excited to launch this week, report segmenting. Yeah, it's been a, a very heavily requested feature by our customers, by you, so we're really excited to show you. Yeah, and to see like, kind of how you use it, what you come up with. Uh, what you're going to find at the top of most reports now in metric is a segment report button. As soon as you click on that, uh, you'll have access to the segment system that you may already be familiar with from some of our other pages all in the, the app. Same, all the same filters. Exactly. And uh, it's really powerful once you get you know, used to using it. So for example, I could limit this 4,500 orders in the last six months. I could add a filter to say, well, I only want to see orders over 500. And as soon as I do that, you can see the number of orders changes, the chart updates, all of the report gets updated to reflect those filters. Uh, and a really cool feature, right, is that you've got existing segments that you may have already created over the years. So you, you put in the work, you yeah. created hundreds of segments for your team. These are all available to you right away. You don't need to do anything. Exactly. And it's just like a really exciting way to have a look at all this data that you wouldn't have had before. So, for example, I've got a suggested segment here for EU orders. I can click on that, apply that filter where all the countries are just EU countries now. And the report just instantly updates to have that segment. And as we you know, go between different reports, such as the profit report or the orders report, those filters are being remembered and applied and limiting that whole report. So now we're seeing uh, the orders report, but just for EU orders. Yeah, and the same can be said on the customer side. Uh, so that has its own filters. Uh, yeah, exactly. Well. So some different filters that you'd only see for customers, such as um, you know, things like the first purchased uh, category. We could do a filter and say, well, I just want to see customers that came in through this category. And you can see that number dropped a little bit as we're limiting it to just customers who joined through that category. And at the same time, another really cool feature we decided to add at the same time, as we were improving the reports, we thought the charts need a bit of work. So the charts have received a little bit of a facelift, but more of a UX improvement. And one of those that we love to talk about is um, the ability to zoom in on the chart. So if we're looking at the last six months, I can now just look at a period here and say, okay, well, what happened over here? And just drag and zoom in. And Very just see nice, that area. smooth animation. Very yeah. satisfying. Exactly. <laughs> and if you want to reset, there you go, back Very to that. Nice. Yeah, so it's an exciting new feature. Um, we just wanted to kind of demonstrate it and see what it, and show you what it can do. Um, We're but really yeah. excited to see, you know. What uh, you come up with. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah, so please let us know um, if you've got any suggestions for it as well, where all he is. And thanks for watching. Cheers.